Hello, my name is Kelby Shelton, a senior product manager of Splunk Soar. Today I am showcasing how the Splunk Soar product helps security practitioners perform investigations and threat hunting activities at machine speed. Let's begin with investigations. In this demonstration, we will walk through conducting an investigation in the SOAR user interface. We will build a query, update our IOCs, and add new IOCs. First, I look at my artifact from an alert. I can see a suspicious process was ran on a host in my environment. An investigation like this will have two major components, confirming the activity as an analyst and then performing a deeper investigation once this is handed off to incident response. First, let's confirm this activity. I will start by getting a reputation on this hash. In this example, I'll run an action against VirusTotal to see a reputation report. VirusTotal claims that this has been seen before, and many vendors indicate that this process is malicious. I can also update my IOCs right here. SOAR keeps track of all unique values, and I can tag this hash as suspicious. I can also choose to add URLs, domains, IPs, etc. as artifacts and IOCs to my investigation. Thus increasing the library of indicators SOAR has access to. Secondly, I'd like to query Splunk to see where this file has been seen. I'm going to select my Splunk connector And to start, I'll do a pretty broad query and search my XML win event logs for the presence of this hdoor.exe file. Inside my analyst workbench, I can see the results of my query and note that the process has been seen multiple times. I also learn that the process was invoked by powershell.exe and that it was only seen on this one endpoint. Well, that's good news for me because that means the fallout is minor so far. But based on this incident, I wanna go ahead and escalate this. Next, I'm going to pretend that I'm an incident responder and I want to get a snapshot of all activity on that endpoint for my review. Typically, this could be a very tedious process, but fortunately, I already have a playbook built for these circumstances. I'm going to select my WinRM Investigate Playbook and perform a capture on all hosts in this incident. As SOAR leverages WinRM to connect to the endpoint, I start to see services, processes, and sessions show up in my analyst screen. I can click on each of these and review the activity right away. Finally, SOAR runs an extra data collection script and pulls back a zip file for even more information about the system. In this example, I investigated alert using just the SOAR UI. We updated IOC information, we added additional IOCs, built a Splunk query, and did a snapshot of activity on an endpoint. 